hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in previous video i will show you how to read and write the data in holding register from our modbus tcp client application in modbus server or modbus device so today in this video i will show you how to read this create input or input register value in our modbus tcp client application from modbus server so basically we cannot write the data in input register or we cannot change the status of this create input so let's read the data and display in our application so first of all add, add the one button control and display the data in our list widget control ok now change here name read input data means input register data ok now create the click event now prepare the modbus data unit to read the data here we have to provide the our, our register type so here provide the input register now next argument is the start register and third argument is the number of quantity of register so let's read the five register now read the response send the read, read request and read the reply send read request here we have to provide the our read unit and server address okay now check the reply is finished or not if reply is not finished then read the data now connect this reply with the our slot q modbus reply finish signal Now here we have to read the reply when finish signal is called. So here we change the sender to in our Q modbus reply object. So convert the Q object cast. Now check if reply has a uh, reply is valid or not. And also check if reply has any error. If reply has no any error. Then read the response otherwise print the message. Let's print the simple message. data read fail and also display this message in status bar data read fail plus print the error string Interesting. Okay. Also, print the main message. Otherwise, reply successfully come. Then read the data. Data read is successfully. also print in status bar now read the mesa data one by one call register so now read uh, create the modbus data unit with data 
units result okay and clear the list widget control before add the data and now read the data and add in one by one also display the um, address units plus start address plus i also let's display the value value of 5 if you want to display the your data in hexadecimal format then provide your base as a 16 or if you want to display your data in decimal format then simply provide your value as a base as a 10 now add this entry in our list widget control and now let's run the application and check it so let's start the uh, modbus data modbus server example code and connect the application let's solve this error now first of all connect the application you can see the connection is done now now provide the some data here let's write the some fixed data and now read the value so you can see the value is displaying in our list widget control so by this way you can easily read the uh, input register value okay now let's change the uh, value and read the value so you can see the current value which is added in our input register text box and also display in our this widget control now let's read the uh, discrete inputs so now it's one more button now create the click event and just simply copy this whole code and write in discrete input now just simply change here register type to discrete input and you have to change the uh, value here ok so here we cannot uh, get the hexadecimal value so simply provide your base as a 10 or you can directly print the value you do not need to convert the value now let's run the application and check it so let's read the five input registers and see so connect and read the value so you can see the five check box are checked and display as a value one so now uncheck three check box and read the value so you can see the value is updated in list widget control so this is the input data input discrete input you where you can set their status like a check uh, is just like a boolean right set their true and false value so by this way you can easily read the whole the input register and discrete input now change the quantity of uh, discrete inputs let's read the 10 input register
and now let's run the application and check it okay connect the application and read the inputs okay let's rebuild the application first of all so connect and read the data i think there is a mistake wait we have to close the application and now rebuild the application connect the application and read i think there is a mistake with it clean run qmac and rebuild now connect and read the input register so you can see the 10 input registers uh, value is shown here now let's change here some value like 11 and may random value okay now read the value so you can see the value is also displaying if you want to read the discrete inputs so you can check the or uncheck the status so you can see the how we display the input or the discrete input and input register values in our list widget control and how we read the values from the modbus server or modbus device so by this way you can easily read the input register or discrete in input value in your modbus tcp client application we cannot write the uh, or change the uh, discrete input values or input register value so we can only read the uh, disk uh, value from it so Please drop your comment if you have any question and thanks for watching my video. Please like this video and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video. Thank you.